Hey, welcome back everybody. In the last video, we skipped ahead. I, I created the uh, the part four. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create part two, which part two is really the same as part three. You can just flip, it, flip them around. So I kind of thought a little bit, you know, what's the best way to create this part? Cause there's so many different ways you can go about it, but you know, which, which one is easier for me? So that's kind of what you think. There may be, you know, 10 people doing the same part. Everybody might, you know, all 10 might do it differently, but you got to think about, you know, how you're going to create it, what, what, you know, method is, is easier for you. So I'll show you how I would go about creating this. So I would go up to file, I would go to new, it's going to be a metric. We're going to go standard, create. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this kind of X, Y plane here. Um, so what I would do, what I thought about is just creating a rectangle to start with. Um, I can use a two point center. I'm just going to draw a rectangle somewhere just down here randomly. So I know that this dimension here is going to be 78. And then the height of this thing is 10. And so really what I want to do is I want to get this thing centered. So I'm going to go up to my coincident constraint. I'm going to look for the midpoint of this line, which is that green dot. So I'm going to click that green dot. I'm going to click my origin and it smacks that thing right there in the middle, which that's kind of what I wanted. Um, and then what I would do is I want to create a circle the center point I want it to be kind of like right over this the middle point of this kind of straight up um, and maybe what I want to do is kind of draw it out off to the side for now uh, that has a diameter of 20 and I want to dimension it from the center to they give me the dimension to here, that's going to be 48. So now what I want to try to do is kind of line up this, this center line with this center line of this circle here. So I want to try to use the vertical constraint. So maybe not that. Um, so whoa, 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 whoa. let me, what can I do? I want to line these up. Um, collinear, maybe not. Let me try this. I don't know if that's going to work here and here. Yep, I should have went with my gut at the start. I was I was hesitant. I was like, hmm, not sure that's going to work. But yeah, that worked just exactly the way that I wanted. All right, so now what I want to do is draw a circle from the same center point out. So that has a radius of 20. So... When I dimension it, I'm going to click this. I'm going to right click it. Um, you can even give it a diameter of 40 if you wanted, but where you see dimension type, I'm going to click on radius. And then I'm going to make this 20. So there's that. Then I want to make a line from this corner. It's going to be tangent to this circle here. So uh, I don't want to lock it in right now. I'm just going to try to create it like somewhere down here. Do the same thing, draw a line from this corner, somewhere touching this circle here. Uh, try not to get it locked to a constraint anywhere, so maybe here. And then I'm going to use my uh, tangent constraint, so I'm going to click the line, click the circle, click this line, click the circle. And then I'm just going to trim away, trim away stuff we don't need, which is that. Mm, yeah, I think that's it. So then I'm going to finish my sketch. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to extrude some of this stuff. So I'm going to extrude this top kind of surface area thing here. I'm going to make it go the other way. So should I do it that way or 
No, let's come back this way. Let's come back towards us. And that has a distance of 10, which it is. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to get my sketch one visibility back. And I'm going to extrude this bottom part like it's going to be coming back towards us. But that has a, a distance of 37, it looks like. 37, like so. Hit OK. All right, so from there I can... I'm going to turn the visibility of the sketch one off. I don't like to have too much things on the screen that is confusing to me. I get confused easily, by the way. So then you can probably tell. You can probably tell. You can probably tell. I want to use the fillet to... Where are you, fillet? Where are you? Oh, here. Fillet. So I'm going to fill these corners. So that has a radius of 12. And I'm going to select the vertical edges here. And here, I'm going to hit apply, and then I'm going to create a hole or two on this top face. So that has, that hole has a, there's two with a diameter of 10. Let me read this. Oh, it has a little spot face on it. All right, hold on one second. Let me take a look at this. All right, so I'm going to go up to, we're going to go up to spot face for the seat. And then we're, we're, we're given these options. So it's going to go all the way through the direction, blah, blah, blah. So this outer diameter is going to be, it looks to be like it's telling us that's going to be 15. Let me move my book out of the way. 15. It's going to go down two. And then this bottom diameter is going to be 10. Like so. And then I'm just going to select a spot on this surface here. I'm going to select this outer kind of round here. Same thing, I'm going to click another location over here. Click the outer kind of rounded part to center those up. I'm going to hit OK. So there's that. And then what else do we need to do? Um, I know there's a rib here. I'm going to save that part for last. On the other side over here, there's also a little extended part. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this face here. I want to project this outer kind of ring. Can that be that? Or actually, let me project this circle so I can get that center point. Now I can draw a circle from the center point to just outside here. I'm going to finish my sketch. Sketch. I want to extrude that donut ring piece. It's going to come out by, what is that distance? All right, so that's going to come out two. So distance A is going to be two. And then I'm going to hit OK. So there's that. So the rib, the rib tool, I don't use that a lot. So um, I finally get a chance to kind of play around with the rib. I like ribs too. I like to make ribs at McDonald's, but anyway, they don't pay me to advertise them. So pretend that you didn't hear that. All right, so to create the rib, I'm gonna flip my uh, view cube back over this way. I want to turn on the plane that shoots right to the center of this thing. So I wanna turn on the visibility of the YZ plane. And then I'm gonna create my, I'm gonna start a 2D sketch on that plane. And then what I want to do is I'm going to draw a line um, kind of from the bottom up here, angled up, go to the top. So I didn't connect those yet. So I want to dimension this end of that line to here. That's going to be, what is that going to be, 20? And then I'm going to dimension the top of this line to the bottom here. That's going to be, what is that going to be? 32. 32. So then I'm going to use my, uh, my coincident constraint. I'm going to click the dot here, click on this line. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to click on this end of this line with a dot. Click on this line. So I kind of 
locks that little angle in for me. I'm gonna finish my sketch. Now I'm gonna go up to my rib and I wanna click this bottom option here. So parallel to sketch plane. Um, it's gonna be, this first one is gonna be direction one. It's gonna have a 15 millimeter thickness. It's gonna be um, in both directions, this first option to next. So then I'm gonna click on this line here. Um, it, it may take a little while to kind of figure all these options, but um, so I click it on parallel to sketch plane, direction one, the thickness is 15. That tells you the thickness of this width here and I centered it on both sides. So if you click one side, it'll just kind of go on one side or the other of that line, but I want them to go right in the middle. So I'll click that third option. This right here, it, it, this, if you have your line, it'll go all the way to like, it'll kind of fill in the, the, the triangle for you. If you click the second option, it'll just kind of be like a, maybe look like a board kind of leaning up against the wall like that, or maybe a ladder, but we want to make sure that we kind of have that all filled in. So that's why I click this first option here, click on okay. I'm going to turn off the visibility of that plane here. And then we just need to add some of the, the rounds on the fillets to finish this part off. So it says rounds and fillets have a radius of three. So on the fillet, I'm gonna go click on the radius and make that three. And then I'm just gonna start, it's selected here. I'm just gonna pick some of these. So I'm gonna pick this edge here. What else, this one around. Um, just, here, here, down here, that one. Same thing on the other side, flip you around. So like this, so like this. What about the bottom here? I think that's, yeah, we can do that too. That looks good. What about here, that one? Sure, why not? Um, what else? I think everything else is okay. I'm looking at this, I think we're good. So I'm gonna hit apply. Does that look like? Mm -hmm. What about, I think I may have missed the, uh, let me go back to my fillet. I'm gonna select here and here. It's kind of hard to see from the from the image what's filleted and what is not. I think we're good there. I'm not sure about that piece. Uh, it looks like that is not. Maybe it is. Let's go there. Let's do. It. Let's fill it that too. This one here. No, that really didn't do much, did it? Um, hmm. It's hard to tell. How many of you would be like, hey boss, what do you do here? Is this one fill it? Is this one not? You would ask some questions. Oh, that can't be. Okay, so I'm just going to be like, except it was a little. Three of the center cannot be blended at the current size. Okay, then I would just cancel that, maybe. Cancel that. All right, leave it like that. So, yeah, there we go. We couldn't fill it those, so those aren't gonna get filleted. So, uh, what's the material on this bad boy? I'm looking at this piece upside down. Uh, that material is cast iron, so I'm gonna go up to generic. I'm gonna go look for iron cast, which is here. That looks pretty awesome like that. I like the way that looks. All right, so then we're gonna just file, save. I'm gonna call this as just so I'm reading this upside down. This is going to be bracket. So this is actually part two, part two and three. I'm going to hit save and we're done. All right, so that looks, that looks pretty awesome actually. That took us a little while, but, but we got it. So then we just have like the, the actual wheel part next. So we'll get that one knocked out and then we'll put them all together. All right, peace.